And this one comes up a lot in, in, uh, in the uh, exam is a lot of leverage, um, outliers, uh, influence. So we're going to talk about what these words mean uh, in order to understand what they mean, think about what they mean in, in the real world. Um, influence is like some of the influence that can kind of change things, right? Influence, and in this case, influence in this case has influence on the slope of the line. It'll take a line that used to have this slope and like this. So that's something that will change the slope has influence. If I move a, a, a line up and down like this, that doesn't change the slope, so it didn't influence the slope. So when we talk about influence in this class or in this course, it actually influences the slope. It, 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 it changes the direction of the entire line. That would have influence. Um, also think about what outlier is. And the, and it, you know, it's something that lies out there, the same thing. And in this, in this case, we use the pinky trick to figure out whether that thing follows the trend with everybody else or it kind of lies out somewhere else. And then the other thing is leverage, right? Leverage. Um, think of a lever. You know, one of the, remember the simple tools in physics, like the lever. Uh, what are they? The lever, the, the the wedge, the inclined plane, pulley, and all that stuff. The lever is a, is a pretty phenomenal uh, uh, tool. Um, the lever would, would allow you to balance a really, really heavy person. Here's the heavy person. I'm heavy. And uh, I can balance that really, really heavy person with a really, really light person with enough leverage. Like, for instance, if I was the same distance um, from the balancing point, remember the balancing point on a histogram is the mean, the average, remember that? Well, we can come back to that, okay? Um, so suppose I put a very light person here, someone who weighed 100 pounds, and this person weighed 500, well, even more than that, let's say, five, yeah, 500 pounds. They wouldn't balance right now, would they? This guy would be like, boom, this guy would go, whee! So what I want to do is give this guy some leverage to balance the, this big guy here so they can balance. So you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this out here so he has some leverage. I'm going to move him far away from the balancing point. Gives him leverage. Now they'll actually balance. Remember force times difference, moment, torque, whatever, all that stuff, right? Like if this guy weighs 100 pounds and this, guy, this guy's 500 pounds and he's one foot away, and this guy's 100 pounds, and he's 5 feet away, they'll be balanced. 100 times 5 is 500, 500 times 1, this distance times force, as long as it's equal to that one, they'll stay balanced. So sending this guy out there gives him some leverage, okay? Leverage. If you want to lift something really heavy, you can put a fulcrum in here and stick it like that and go and lift really heavy things, a lever. Kind of like a jack, a car jack, right? A car jack isn't like this little tiny stick like this, and you go, and has a, has a big lever on it, you go, because it gives you leverage far away from the fulcrum, the balancing point. Now, what do we mean here in stats when we say leverage? Exact same thing, far away from the balancing point. So let's put a scatter plot out there, and I'll tell you, we'll talk about which points have leverage, which ones have influence, which don't. So here's a scatter plot. Okay, now, let's talk about leverage. If all these guys fell, all the x values fell into a pile, there'd be like a little, a little uh, you know, histogram here, and it would have an average, an x bar, a balancing point. Now let's talk about leverage first. <laughs> if I stood right on the fulcrum, the balancing point, would I have leverage? No. Leverage are points that are far out that way and that way have leverage. So I'm going to put my, I'm going to make a point. And I'm going to have you say out loud, yes or no, if it has leverage. Ready? No. Very good. Ready? No. Very good. No leverage. Still on this x value. Ready? Yes. It's far away in the x direction. I'm not erasing very well. I don't let it dry. I gotta let you, it's dry erase. You have to give it time to dry before you erase. Sorry, buddy. What about over here? Yes, leverage, leverage, lever. What about over here? Yes, leverage, lever. What about down here? Yes, leverage. So in this area, it's not much leverage, but out here, far away in the X direction, like on a seesaw, you have leverage. How do you test an outlier? Simply cover it up and say, does it go? Okay, see the flow? There's the flow, the trend is going like this. Doesn't fit, outlier. What about this guy? See the flow, see the trend, is it following it? Not an outlier, but 
has leverage, has leverage because it's out there. Right? What about this guy? Follows the trend? Yes. Does it have leverage? No. What about this guy? Leverage and an outlier. So that's leverage and outlier. Let's talk about influence. Remember what this regression line tries to do. It tries to get as close to all the points as possible. It tries to minimize all the residuals or the squares of, but whatever. It tries to minimize all the vertical distances. So it kind of goes through the middle of it all. It's like, I want to get close to everybody. And now I am. Now you have to think, suppose the, 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 where I'm asking about an individual point on this. And I want to know whether or not it has influence on the slope. And I put a point here. What I'm asking you is, will adding that point change the slope? Will adding or removing it change the slope of the regression line? So suppose that point isn't there. You know the regression line must go through x bar, y bar. So it must go through this point here. So let's see. Here it is. Here's it now without it. And then I put this point in. Now it just wants, it wants to get close to it. It says, okay, I'm a little closer to you. And I take it away, back where I was. Up, oh, now I'm close to you. Take it away, back where I was. I would say that that point influences the slope. Generally, things with leverage that are outliers have influence. If it's an outlier and it has leverage, it's generally uh, influential. Let's look at another point. Ah, leverage. Let's see if it has influence. Cover it up. Here's the slope. It's hanging out there. Now I'm going to take it out. Here it is. There's the slope. There's the slope, the slope, the slope, the slope, the slope doesn't change, yeah. The slope doesn't change. It stays right there, yeah. So because the slope's not changing when I add it or remove it, it has no influence on the slope. It has leverage, potential. Things with leverage are potentially influential. However, this one is not influential. I take it away, it doesn't do anything. That's a tricky one. We always have trouble with this guy. We know it's an outlier. But does it have leverage? First off, does a guy standing on the fulcrum like this, ooh, I'm on the fulcrum, do they, do they have any leverage? Hmm, no leverage there. If it doesn't have leverage, it probably can't influence anything without leverage. But let's see what would actually happen to the slope when I add it and remove it. Ready? I'm gone. Here's the slope of the line. Now I'm in. Ready? Whee! Look what happens. Ready? The whole slope just goes like this. Getting closer. It moves up a little bit, right? But it doesn't change direction. We know it has to go through this point. And this line certainly is not closest to everybody. It's not going to suck it up like this. Boom. Because look how far it gets away from all of these points. So it's trying to stay closest to all of the points. So what it does is to get a little bit closer to this, it just goes like this. Yeah. But the slope doesn't change. Take it away. Slope changes, these are just two parallel lines of the same slope. So the slope wasn't influenced. So that is not influential. Okay? So think about what the word influence means. It means adding it or removing it will change the slope. Not where it is, the actual slope. Leverage means it's out there or out there. Points that are outliers with leverage generally change the slope. Okay? Points with leverage, like up here, that aren't outliers don't change the slope. They're not influential. Outliers simply don't go with the flow. The other thing that's asked also often is like this wandering point and what effect it would have on the R value. Okay, so the R value tells you about the linearity, the, cor the correlation. Would it strengthen the correlation and weaken? And remember how we calculated. I, when I look for strength or weakening of the um, of the R value, I think what's what's it going? You know, is it going to get closer to one or, or, or closer to zero, um, or closer to negative one? So right now we have some positive, positive R value, and if I add points out here in that direction or that direction along this line, it's going to strengthen my R value, the correlation. Because remember, these are all positive, positive uh, areas that are adding to the R value, if you remember that video. But if I have a point over here, that's 
that's adding a big negative value to all these positives, so it's going to weaken. It's going to weaken the R value. So the correlation is actually strengthened when you add points with leverage, with some leverage. The more leverage and the closer in line with, with, with the trend, it will add. Um, points without much leverage, um, even points that are actually go with the trend, if I add another point, interestingly, if I have a scatter plot and I add another point, so here's my scatter plot, and I add a point that's right here, right at x bar, y bar, um, it actually uh, decreases the, um, the strength a little bit because it adds zero to the numerator. Remember the numerator of the R value, the sum of zx? zy over n minus 1. So it adds nothing to here, but adds 1 to there, to the n, decreasing this a little bit. But basically, points out here will increase the correlation, down here will increase the correlation, like right in here, like close will decrease, out here will decrease and decrease, okay? So that's how it will affect the R value. But don't forget, leverage means just out there. Influence would change the slope when added or taken away, and outlier means it just doesn't go with the flow.